This here train is bound for doom. The tracks got laid down much too soon. Zoo is who hot and them are, even though we don't know where to go. This here engineer keeps piling on the coal. But we can't slow down, we could try to drag our feet. But we'd best not bother, all we get is bloody meat. And I don't know when all these people got on board Cause it's all I've ever known This is where I was born And they sweat and sway and work and play And bag and bag and bag to feel more speed They'd rather slave for what they think they want than be free with what they need. But they won't slow down, they wouldn't want to fall behind. They could slow down if they just had a half a mind. So I left my seat to hang with the hobos at the back And we stayed, turned round, see the disappearing track and We wish that we could just go back and we're trying to remember how it was As God is waiting in the train yard He's the meanest boy there ever was We can't jump off, we'd more than likely die. But if you see somewhere soft to live, then take my hand, I think it's worth a try. So this has, um, of course I'm capoed up to the seventh fret here, but it, it covers most of what I would say are the main chord positions when you're playing banjo the way I do it. I don't have a fifth string because I'm playing left-handed upside down, so I just have the four strings. I have the same finger picking technique that I was showing in other videos where it's just, I just have the thumb on the every other beat and usually downbeat. So I just kind of alternate with my index finger. So that means any melodies you're playing are kind of have to be starting on the downbeat, not so much on the backbeat, and kind of on the lower strings, as you noticed in the song. So the open is, is your one chord. So capoed up here, that's a D chord. If it wasn't capoed, that would be a G chord. But anyway, so that's your one chord. Um, your four chord is second fret, outside string, second fret, other outside string, and then uh, first fret on this uh, third string from the bottom. So it's like, that's your four chord. Your five chord is bottom string open, second fret on the second string up, third fret on the third string up, fourth fret on the fourth string up. So it's like that. And then I was just decorating. Um, the sixth chord, which in this case is B minor, that's just second fret on both outside strings. So, it's, so the the chord progression of the verse is you know six, four, one. Um, 
So that would be B minor, G, D. Um, there's some other chords too. You could do kind of like the sum over for a two chord. So that's second fret, second fret, first fret, and then second fret. Or you can leave that top string open and make it suspended. Same thing with a three chord. So those are, so that's like your one chord, two chord, three chord, four chord, five chord, six chord. And then up here is kind of another, I just kind of do that. So I can do that descending eight, seven, six kind of thing. Anyway, so that's kind of the basics, uh, the basic banjo chords when you're playing left-handed upside down banjo without a fifth string. So um, I don't do much banjo, but I might do some more. Um, in the future.